Hi there, I'm Daniel from By The Brush Miniatures and today I'll be showing you how you can paint spirits. So this is the model I'm going to be using this technique on for today's video. Uh, this technique can be replicated in a vast variety of colours. Uh, the colour I've chosen today for this model is blue, uh, but you could use any sort of colours, just switch out the paints for similar sort of ones in, the, in those colours. But if you want to do your uh, do your spirits in blue, then these are the paints that you're going to want to use. So you're going to need four paints for today's technique. The first one that you'll need, no matter what colour you're going to use, is Corax White. I have Ceramite White here, but that's just because I haven't switched it out yet. And then you're going to need a Dark Tone, uh, which is uh, going to want to be a wash paint. Uh, and this will be the first tone. This will be for blue. Uh, Drakenhof Nightshade and then you're gonna want a middle tone which it doesn't matter whether it's a base or a layer uh, and I've chosen Thousand Suns Blue and then finally you're gonna want the lightest tone uh, and for blue I've chosen Baharoth Blue. So we're gonna start with the Ceramite White and there's nothing particularly special with how we're gonna be using this we're just gonna want to paint over the area that we're going to be painting today uh, over with this paint as you usually would. So now once that's fully dry we're going to be moving on to the first dark tone which for me is Drakenhof, Drakenhof Nightshade and because this is going to be a wash uh, we're just going to apply this normally without anything special just all over the intended area. So next is the mid tone, which for me is Thousand Suns Blue. And this is where we're going to start to get a little bit more interesting. You're going to want to thin this down quite a lot to the point where it's almost at the consistency of a wash, if not just actually at the consistency of a wash. So you're going to want, want to water it down very heavily. Maybe it's even a bit more than that. And yeah, so if you drag your brush a bit, there, you'll notice the little pool at the end. Uh, if you're getting that, then that's what you want, and you're at the right, uh, and you've watered it down enough. So you want to get some on your brush, and then avoid the uh, areas where the spirit is actually popping out of where it is, if it is on your model. Uh, like you can see with mine, it's half in the tree and half not. So I'm going to start, uh, I think, around here and avoid that belly area, just like that. You're going to want to apply this very similar to how you would a wash. And make sure that you can see a bit of the darker tone underneath it. And then it'll create a very nice gradient-like effect. Now finally, you're going to want to use your light tone here, uh, which for me is Baharoth Blue. And we're going to do a very similar thing here to what we did with the mid-tone. But we're going to want to miss out a bit more on the area that we missed out before. So that a bit of the mid-tone is also showing through. And again, you're going to want to thin this down just as much, if not more, uh, as you did with your mid-tone. Just so that you get that nice gradient effect and all of the tones are showing. This one's just the most prevalent. Again, check for that pooling when you drag your brush across the palette. And all this will do is give it, your model, a very nice mystical effect, which is what we're going for. So I think I'm gonna start around here and ignore all of that area. We're missing out quite a bit there so that there's that nice fade into the bright color from the dark. So once your light tone has dried, you will be completely finished with this technique and the end result should look something like this. Uh, so if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see some more work from us, uh, you can go ahead to our Instagram where you can see some models that we've converted or painted. And if you'd like to support us elsewhere, uh, you can go on our Patreon, uh, where you can support us uh, outside of YouTube. 
and please join the Discord if you uh, want to communicate with us and other hobby doers just like you and me. So with that all being said, I'll see you next time.